Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I are going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. Yes. Just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, Ollie, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davey, Jenny, Sean, Mac, they might be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But, we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work. We ain't run into them yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need your horses? Oh, yeah. And hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. Hey, where's that hand? I'll live. Get indoors, son. Ah. We need you strong. Okay. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn wet. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Strong right now. 
We got fire and shelter. That's a start. And what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? Let's have 
Let's get you up here. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Micah. Hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. Come <laughs> on. 
upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Hmm. Poor bastard was married too. Meet me out here when you're done.
Still looking, Dutch. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Tracks. 
some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, Scott and Train. Thank you. And that's the last thing we need right now, Judge. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea, I'll show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. 